because if one looks at some of the responses in terms of Facebook that I, that I have seen, one of the things that comes back in terms of those debates is the question of why should there be any difference? Why shouldn't be, uh, people be entitled to the same rights? And I think it is that, that fundamental question of why uh, that has stopped the avalanche of emails that otherwise would have come. It is why do we discriminate against a section of our community? I believe, I believe that this bill is on safe ground because it does reflect the fundamental ethos of fair go. Now, I referred to the emails that I've received and indeed that I have answered uh, our emails. I've also answered the emails that have been sent in respect of this matter. And I think it's reasonable that I provide at least part of the answer that I've given to people who have written to me. So I'll read a little bit. Prior to entering Parliament, I practised as a lawyer for over 20 years, spending a good deal of time in the family law jurisdiction. From my years of practice, I was left with an overwhelming sense that the institution of marriage is not threatened by the distant possibility that someday gay and lesbian couples may gain the right to marry. It is my view that the institution of marriage has demonstrated itself to be a very robust institution that has withstood and will continue to withstand the challenges of our modern society. Nevertheless, I have seen the institution of marriage repeatedly tested by the behaviour of heterosexual couples towards one another as they battle within and following divorce outside the confines of marriage. The relationships, sorry, the relationships register bill will mirror to some extent similar legislation that has already passed in Victoria and Tasmania. The bill will only affect, sorry, will affect only modest procedural amendments to the Property Relationships Act. The bill will create a mechanism not create a new form of relationship, but rather simply provide for registration of de facto relationships, whether that be heterosexual or homosexual couples. It will allow these couples to undertake a range of transactions that married couples take for granted. Whether it be in the area of superannuation or medical treatment, schooling, banking or claiming social security benefits, a document that evidences the existence of a de facto relationship will simplify and facilitate the task, not just for the couple, but for third parties. I will deal with one final argument advanced, and that is that allowing the registration of gay and lesbian relationships will encourage young uh, people to adopt a similar lifestyle. There are two things to say in response. Firstly, there is no compelling evidence and indeed extensive opposing and thorough research to support this concern. Put another way, to say, put another way, to be gay or lesbian is not a lifestyle choice. People are born gay, lesbian or transgender and are entitled to the acceptance, respect and support of the wider community not condemnation and discrimination. Secondly, the sad reality is that many young gay, lesbian and transgender people suffer considerable loneliness and isolation in our community as they become aware of their sexuality. In some cases, this loneliness and isolation is profound and leads to a range of self-destructive behaviours. In that regard, my beliefs on this matter do not allow me to support policies which facilitate feelings of ostracism from the wider community. I will support the bill. Let me say, members of this House, colleagues and in some cases friends, I do not believe that our children can be segmented into one group that perhaps is 90 or 95 per cent, and on the other group, 5 or 10. 
and that we say, as some would have it, that in order to save the 90 or 95 per cent, we sacrifice the smaller group. All are entitled to our love, all are entitled to our support, and all are entitled to equal treatment. And we can achieve it. And indeed, we will achieve it. And we will achieve it in a non-discriminatory way. This bill is a small step along the way to achieving appropriate non-discriminatory behaviour for all people in our community. I encourage it and I thank the Attorney-General. Thank you.